Ang video na to ay handog ni cdkoffers.com. Marami kang mahahanap na iba't ibang uri ng software dito. May games, apps, activation codes for Windows 10. Check out our video on CDK Offers in the video description. Mabilis, mura, and syempre legit dito. Madali lang mag-order, search for the software you need, add to cart, check out, daan ka sa payment options nila, wala pa isang minuto, finished. May legit working CDK ka na sa software na pinili mo. Gamitin ang aming promo code para makakuha pa ng extra 20% discount sa purchase mo. Kung naghanap ka ng mura, legit, and original software, check out cdkoffers.com. Alright, what's up internet? Uh, welcome to the last show, or the last in the shop show for the year. Uh, Merry Christmas to everyone. Uh, I hope everybody got what they wanted for Christmas. And we will... Parang for the start of the show, what's up, Hans? Merry Christmas. Um, for the start of the show, we will go through what we got. Um, and the first one is thank you to ROG, Asus ROG for, among other things, <laughs> this cap. I'm not actually much of a cap person. Um, if there are any Philchai out there, when I'm wearing this cap, I feel like parang medyo chawan ako. Um, but thanks, Asus. We're probably gonna just keep the cap in the shop. I, <laughs> I'm not a cap person. But also thank you to Asrock for this shirt. Uh, it says I'm a gamer, and yes, I am a gamer. Uh, it also has the Phantom Gaming logo here on the side, the PG logo. I think, um, I think the PG one, they, they, you know, it's a brand. It's how they differentiate their motherboards. I think it's also like the PG Velocita. We had some of our, we had a video on some of the Asrock motherboards. Uh, like a couple of months ago, and I, we did mention the PG Velocita. So that's just some of the swag we got over Christmas. And here's some of the other stuff. ASUS has kindly lent us the Tough K3 keyboard, that which we we did review this keyboard. Um, so I won't you know go through the specs again, pero it is magnetic, so you know. It, Clips on nicely, so you can take it off and take it, uh, and then it sticks back on. Uh, Paolo Santos says, wala pa rin YouTube. Um, 1607, 407. I don't, it's true though. Um, it says I'm connected on YouTube, but I'm getting zero views. So actually, I don't know what's going on there. Um, let me try to go into the stats a bit. Should you see that? Should you guys be seeing that? What are you seeing? Oh, okay, I want to show that. Oh, you're right. It is. It, it still is down on YouTube. I don't know what's going on. It still says sending data. Um, I've tried to change the YouTube server from primary to backup and vice versa, but it's still not working. Anyway, um. So just continue to stream and I will upload this to YouTube later. Also, thank you to ASUS who have, who has, have, they've lent us the M3 mouse, which we've also, the tough M3 mouse, which we also reviewed. So we got the M3, the K3, and not shown on screen is the H3, the headset, because I can't use it because I prefer to do the wireless uh, Corsair one. And aside from that, we also got this nifty, mouse pad from Asrock. You can see how large it is. It's also the PG PG mouse pad from Asrock and quite nice actually. Very nice feel. Asus also kindly lent us the uh, P3, the Pad 3, which is their version of the mouse pad, the tough mouse pad. Um, so, oh, okay. We got a comment from YouTube, so I guess it's working. Thanks, Morse Vance. Uh, for commenting on YouTube. Although I'm still not getting viewers, so I really don't know what the heck is going on. Um, but anyway, so we got the cap, we got the keyboard. And of course, thank you also to ASUS for, um, you know, a long time ago, ASUS lent us its monitor. They haven't asked for it back, so it's always in the shop. You can always see it actually in the YouTube videos. We've done a review on it. Uh, NZXT also, not part of the Christmas gifts, but... Um, NTXT lent us these fans a long time ago. We're still using them for display. Quite nice. 
Asus also lent us this Crosshair 6, also a long time ago. They also haven't asked for it, so if anybody, if you guys know anybody from Asus, please don't remind them that this stuff is still with us. Although the K3, the M3, and the H3, and the P3, the headset, uh, did come just in time for Christmas. So thanks very much, Asus. And also this cap, the ROG cap. Alright, and something else we got, courtesy of Astrock, was the Z490... Sorry, not Z, the B460 Steel Legend. So this is an Intel board actually, and that's why we haven't been able to review it because we haven't done a lot of Intel builds to be honest. But it has the Steel Legend, let me flip it. It has the Steel Legend, you know, look, the kind of steel, uh, silver finish to all the parts and to the heat sinks and things like that. It also has the kind of camo imprint they do now on the board so astrock was also kind enough to lend this to us we haven't been able to use it yet but i am planning an intel test rig or test bench for the shop just like the test bench we have over there which is md ryzen so we're gonna be using this guy sooner rather than later which is why let me put it away first Still no joy with the YouTube. I mean, we got one comment and then it died. Although everything else seems to be working. Audio is good. Video is good. Um, sorry, let me just try again on the... See what's going on with the YouTube. It still just says sending data here in the restream console. Anyway. Um, yeah, let me close that. And... Revinjan asks, how do you guys handle special orders? Um, basically, you just message us what you need, and then we try to find it. First, we confirm with the supplier that we can get it, and then once we do confirm that, we tell the customer. And if the item is hard to find, we do ask for a down payment. But if it's major sort of standard that we feel that we can probably sell it if the buyer backs out, we will just go ahead and get it and then let you know. Um... When it's when we have it, and then you can buy it from the shop. Ancestry stream key for why for YouTube. I don't know. You know, I didn't change anything about the settings. The last live stream we did was pwede magtanong uh, before Christmas, and then I haven't changed any settings. Have I changed any settings after that? Edit settings. Uh, well, I'm just gonna monkey around with restream later. I'll remove channel and then. I try to put it back in but anyway so facebook gets to be facebook is the only one live now and then i'll just upload this to re i'll download it from facebook and then upload it <laughs> to youtube which is that's the problem with computers um you know sobrang gulo like one thing is working just fine on one moment and then the next it's not but let's move on with some of the stuff that we have in the shop that actually we just have restocked. So there's a lot of new things in the shop. And one of those new things, which is always in demand, are these guys. So we have the NZXT AIOs back in stock. And we have the whole line. The X53, the X63, the X73, and the Z63. For those of you guys who are looking for the LCD... CPU block or you know the LCD screen on the CPU block only the Z63 has that um, These other guys the X series. They don't have that They are actually quite similar to the X52s and X62 the ones from the previous gen. It's just that um, NZXT claims that they've changed the pump a little bit to make it more efficient and a bit quieter but these guys the 53 63 and 73 are just basically refresh models, so not much has changed. What most people look for are the is the Z63, which is the one with the LCD screen. Um, please note that everything I show here might not be on our website yet because um, we've been very busy with Christmas. <laughs> we've been on holiday since December. You know, our last day was December 23. So I, uh, to be honest, I haven't had the time to update the site yet with the new inventory. So you're not going to see these AIOs yet, but I do plan to do an all-nighter tonight. 
Um, so by tomorrow morning, everything that we have in the shop should be on the site again. And another thing which everybody asks about is here are our stock of 3000 series NVIDIA cards. So we still have one colorful 3060 Ti. And we have, did I put it away? Uh, we do have the Hoff, the Hall of Fame uh, Galax 2080 Super. So this is a very massive card. And yes, it's the 2000 series. But the thing with the Hoff series is that they really engineer them to, basically, they overclock the heck out of it. But they make sure that the, the coolers on the card and the other features they put on the card can handle the overclocking. So it's... It's significantly faster than a stock 2080 Super is the Hoff or the Hall of Fame version. Sorry, we do have the colorful 3060 Ti. Oh, and yes, we have the MSI. Can the camera see it? Okay, so we had a lot of, couple of people ask about this. We do have the 3060 Ti Ventus and the 3070 Ventus. Again, not yet on the site, but it will be by tomorrow morning. Because, oh shoot, I do have plans actually tonight. <laughs> but uh, whatever, you know, I'll, I'll get around to, um, I will get around to updating them so that by tomorrow morning, they will have, uh, you know, all, the site will have all of the, um, all of our stock available. What also came in is the oh, thermal take. Put this guy here. So we talked about AIOs. This one is for custom liquid water cooling. This is the C360. These are soft tubes, actually. Um, we have another. I don't know if you can see it up there. Oh, ah, yeah. Um, up there. But we do have another kit. It's the Pacific, but it's also soft tube. To be honest, we're just really kind of experimenting with what people are looking for because we don't have a lot of experience selling these custom liquid water cooling kits. Um, so this is the soft tube. And so there are pros and cons. You, again, we don't do a lot. Of, we don't do custom liquid water cooling in the shop because we don't have enough experience with it. We'll probably monkey around with it. You know, we'll do a test build before we offer that kind of service to our customers because we don't want to screw up and say that you know we're good at custom liquid water cooling and then there's a leak pala or yeah there's a leak the gasket is not properly fitted or things like that and you know bye bye expensive 5600 xt or whatever cpu you have in there not to mention everything else the mobo the ram the gpu and things like that but we are trying to stock some custom liquid water cooling parts um, and it's something, again, it's, it's not very cost efficient actually because we're still figuring out what to get. And um, yeah, you know, we, we don't really know, we don't really know what we're doing yet at this point for custom liquid water cooling. But um, we're, I'm a big believer in learn as we go and, you know, we'll figure it out. The uh, internet connection just dropped to zero kilobytes per second, but now it's back up on green. So <laughs> this is not a very smooth, I mean, a lot of stuff going on. Jeremy asks, do we have an NZXT H510 white? And yes, we do. Here it is, actually. Um, yeah, H510, and then it is white. Um... Okay, since we're on the cases, um, people have asked about, I mean, so we started on the cases. Here's another H510. This one is also white, so we do have that in stock. We're going to be updating that later. Oh, since I forgot my usual tripod at home, I had to improvise with these H510 Elites. So we have the main camera up there perched on three of the 510 Elites. These are all white, actually, but I think, did we order black? Oh no, I think we all got white, but I'm out of stock in black. So we have six of these guys. These are all very popular because of the RGB, the front glass case, and then the two 140mm RGB fans that come included with the 510 Elite. Usually people 
Okay, let's orient it on the 510 Elite. Usually, uh, a lot of people do... Uh, oh, well, you can see it here. Do an all NZXT setup, meaning... Uh, even the AIOs are NZXT. The problem with that is... If you can... Okay. Actually, we did a YouTube video on this for one build. So, a lot of people want a 240mm AIO NZXT. The problem is you can't fit them here in the back. So, it has to go here in front. But it won't fit with the AIO fans. So, you need to remove the radiator fans. Stick the radiator behind the RGB fan. So, basically, it's here. And so, that you're able to fit the 240mm rad. Which is how it's displayed actually on the box. But you know, that's not very efficient because you would want to have the fan fans on the radiator. So it really depends on you. If you want that aesthetic, we can do it and we've done it before. And a lot of people ask us on YouTube how to do it. But it's not too it's not very efficient. You basically remove the you need to remove the Ra the fan radiator so uh, there's a lot less heat being removed from the radiator itself i mean basically the only thing pushing heat are the two front fans and you know this case is pretty but it, the front is glass it's not mesh there aren't a lot of holes for cool air to enter the front of the case so immediately it's already kind of um it's a uh, hamstrung by the lack of access points for clean air to get in and then you remove but the radiator fans so um again you know it's something we can do but it's not really ideal but if you just you're not gonna overclock the cpu and you want that aesthetic we can do that naman um okay let's ask let's answer some of the questions from facebook it's actually a very small crowd <laughs> so we can do the questions unlike when Things used to work, and I could connect to YouTube. Um, there'd be a lot more people, and you know, I couldn't deal with all of the chat and stuff like that. Um, Jeremy asked a shout out. Shout out, Jeremy. Are you the guy who also asked about the H510 white? Uh, I can't find the video. I can't find the comment. Oh yeah, you are the same guy. Um, Jet asked, planning to purchase Synology NAS. Any other options other than Synology? Um, you could build your own. <laughs> Actually, I've been wanting to do a NAS for a long time and I did think about Synology. But finally, at the end of the day, I just built my own from an old computer. Basically, we're using it as a media server. Um, so there are pros and cons to that. Pro is if it's an old computer, you don't really need to spend a lot. Um, the con is the cost. Sorry. Um, yeah, the, the con is the electricity cost because it's a full rig that i'm using and you know uh you would use less power with a dedicated nas because they really choose the parts you know they don't need a lot of bells and whistles for the nas but i'm happy to report actually that on the old pc that i'm using i'm only using around 80 watts per hour 80 to 90 watts because i got um i got uh you know, one of those things that measures the electricity consumption dun sa, on the appliance. So actually, we're only I'm only using around 80 to 90 watts per hour on the on that media server, and that's a big deal because you kailangan nakabukas yun all the time. Um, so that any any time of the day, kahit 3 a.m. when somebody wants to watch a video, you know, kaya niyang buksan yung app. I'm using Plex, and then you know they can just watch any video that's on the media server. So, not too bad that it saved me a lot of money because basically wala akong cash out. Although yun nga, um, the power consumption is around 80 to 90 watts per hour. Any other brands aside from Synology? Um, I didn't go that far into my research. We don't really sell NAS here in the shop. Although we did have another do-it-yourself NAS from a customer recently. I posted about it on Facebook Now he had six hard drives for the NAS. And... Um, he had to find a case that could fit six, and then we also had to measure pricey yung motherboard that we got because we needed to find six, six. Um, we needed to find a motherboard that would have six SATA. <laughs> uh, 
um, connectors available. But um, yeah, that that worked out. Sorry, I'm still trying to figure out YouTube. So I'm in restream, and then I am. Although you know, at this point. Even if I go live on YouTube, like half the show's already finished, so I'm really just gonna delete that and put and upload it anyway, so that people can see the uh, sponsor thingy as well. So again, to heck with YouTube. <laughs> we'll figure that out later. All right. Ah, something else I wanted to show you guys. So this is sort of my pet peeve. The one of my <laughs> very many pet peeves um, with computers in general. We have two great monitors here actually. We have the Bank EW2780Q and then we have the EX27080Q. So the only difference in naming between these two guys is one letter. This guy is W and this guy is X. But this guy is more of a multimedia monitor. It's a 5 millisecond response time. It's 60 hertz. This one is a gaming monitor. It's 144 hertz and I think 1 millisecond response time. So one letter differentiates them, but their specs are super different from each other. And especially for monitors, this drives me crazy. Because yung mga pangalan nila, it's so hard to remember what they are. Like um, they're they're always just a bunch of strings, like numbers and letters. And then sobrang nakakalito kung paano yung ano um, sobrang nakakalito which model refers to which um. Oh, we are getting some comments from YouTube again, but still no, it just says buffering. Um, Hans actually suggested you know, it might be the stream key, but I said that it was fine kanina. I mean, when I when we did pwede magtanong uh, before Christmas, now it just says buffering. So maybe it just there's just really something up with YouTube for the live. Um, yeah, so one of my pet peeves, especially for monitors, is that the manufacturers don't make it easy for you na, you know, to differentiate between the different monitors. Even the same manufacturer, like that bank one, can have multiple monitors, and then the only, yung pagkaiba lang nila, at least dun sa pangalan, is just one letter. Pero sobrang layo nung specs nila. Like yung EW, mas bagay yan sa nag -e edit or nag uh, for photo shoot because... Yeah, you don't really need the speed and it's an IPS panel. The EX is better for gamers because you have the 144 Hz. Um, I think one millisecond response time. It also has USB type C. So Ibang iba siya. And yet yung pagkaiba lang sa pangalan is one letter. <laughs> so that was really kind of annoying. And uh, it's not just the bank guys. Um I, a, a lot of the in fact I joke with our suppliers na ano ba naman yan wala bang wala ba kayong maiisip na pangalan na you know for this model and things like that because it's just really quite difficult to remember what model number you want to buy tapos um che check mo pa yon na like oh ito yung hinahanap ko the supplier will offer you something that's that's che check mo pa talaga na ah, oh yun nga yung yun nga yung kailangan ko so that is one of my pet peeves. And actually, I'm thinking of doing a video where uh, I just talk about like the pet peeves I have um, regarding computer hardware in general. Or like, you know, yung mga services ng ibang suppliers and uh, services of like software services that you can get online, like online services. Um, what OS? Did uh, did our guy use? Did the customer use for the do-it-yourself NAS build? It was actually parang free NAS or cute NAS or something like that. He was just gonna run it off the off a USB drive. So I think it was free NAS or something like that. Um, for my do-it-yourself, the one at home, I'm just running Windows. Um, Plex can run runs fine on Windows, so no need to do. Yeah, I didn't want to monkey around anymore with um, figuring out NAS software. And I'm not using it for backup. I mean, that, I guess that's the important thing. I'm using it for a media server. Kung biglang mawala lahat ng downloads ko, I'd be sad. Pero, you know, okay lang. 
So I'm not using it like in a RAID setup where data redundancy is very important, which is probably where you would want more uh, a specialized kind of NAS software. Uh, yeah, so kani kanya yung use case. Uh, we're always big here at Hardware Sugar about like what are you gonna use the computer for, and these are the parts we recommend for that, so that you don't waste money. Um, same thing, if uh, you're gonna use it as a media server, libre naman yung Plex, libre naman yung Windows 10. Um, I, but I think Open NAS or Cute NAS or Free NAS or something like that. I think those OS ones are also free. Uh, Hans, pronunciation of bank. I don't know. I've always <laughs> pronounced it bank, like the Q becomes a K. Uh, I, I do know a lot of people say Ben Q. I think that's actually how most people say it. But I don't know. Parang, instead of just two syllables, Ben Q, parang mas madali na lang na bank. <laughs> uh, then I figure it's German. So, you know, they, they like these run on things. But I really don't know. To be honest, I don't know how you pronounce uh, it. Although I did have a talk with the Asus guys when I met them very early on, like I think two years ago. Na, is it Asus or Asus? And actually, they explained that their name comes from Pegasus, the you know from Greek mythology, the winged horse. So Pegasus, so Ace Asus. I guess Asus would be the closest to Pegasus. Uh, how much ang GTX 1650 Super or 1660 Super sa store ninyo? I do not have the prices memorized. I just checked on our website. It's here on the live stream, hardware-sugar.ph. And ordinarily, I would say that the site has all of our inventory plus updated prices. However, as I mentioned at the start of the stream, I ako for the past two days because of Christmas and you know everything going on. So it hasn't been updated yet with new stock, but I will do that tonight. So I'm going to take you to the back room now because I do want to show you guys the back. <laughs> this is literally the back end of Hardware Sugar. Um, we'll start first with the stuff that we, we are going to have to return once people go back to work. Uh, sorry, Asrock. <laughs> so this is a B550M Steel Legend. Our customer actually bought a 5000 Ryzen series CPU from us. And he asked us if we would if we could update the mobile for him, the mobile BIOS, and we're like, sure, no problem. The problem is, so he also got this board from us. The problem is this guy apparently di pa karaganda yung BIOS nung ASRock for the B550M because we were able to update it properly, but it would not accept the 5000 series even though we had updated it to the latest BIOS version already. So we're going to send this back to our supplier. And in the meantime, the customer just got another board from another manufacturer. This guy, also uh, from a customer that bought a full rig from us, it's the MPG X570 Gaming Pro Carbon Wi-Fi. And actually, it had a really weird error message, the overcurrent defective. And you know, if you look that up online, it's more, I think I saw happens more in laptops because parang there's something shorting out the USB. But um, we had nothing plugged into the USB of this thing. So we really couldn't quite figure it out. So that guy is going back <laughs> to the supplier as well to kind of figure out, yeah, it, it's beyond our capacity to troubleshoot. But, you know, um, that supplier is pretty good. He's pretty straight with us. So I have no doubt that it will get back to us eventually. A lot of people buy stuff with us and then just ask them to store it kasi para sigurado na Oh, I thought actually there was somebody at the door, but might be hearing things. But this is not a real live episode of Phantasmagoria or whatever that scary whatever that scary uh game is that everybody's playing now. Um but if something does happen to me, I hope you report it to whoever <laughs> like if somebody suddenly just burst in here but that'd be kind of freaky um so let's go back to the back room a lot of customers buy stuff and then they say keep it muna para you know binubuo pa namin yung rig binubuo ko pa yung rig na gusto ko so actually we have um it's very humbling actually that people will spend 
thousands, tens of thousands of pesos, and then they trust us, trust us enough to say na sige sa inyo muna. So this is one such build on reserve, uh, H510 White, Kraken X53, Galax 2060. Actually, the only thing we're um, and it's an Intel CPU and the PSU is in the back. The only thing we're waiting for for this build is extra AR AER2 fans. Those are the NCX2 fans, the the ones that you saw on display on our test bench. The problem is our supplier has been out of stock for several months, so. Um, the customer is just waiting for us to get stock of the 3-in-1, the triple fan pack of the AER2s, and then we can begin, or we can build. This guy, actually, this motherboard was the MOBO that I wanted to offer to the guy making the DIY NAS. Because the... this has six SATA ports. Tapos yung maganda dito, X370, so medyo old tech, mas mura na siya. Because you don't really need performance parts if you're doing a uh, NAS. Uh, for those who aren't familiar with NAS, it just it refers to network attached storage. Basically, it's a bunch of hard drives connected to your network so it's easier to save data, backup data, or you know, if you need uh, me, like a, a media server na naka-save na lahat ng download dun sa isang hard drive na naka-attach sa network so that other devices can access those video files. You don't need to watch them on your computer. I watch them on my tablet, I watch them on my TV, I stream them via Chromecast to another TV that's not smart, so it doesn't have the built-in app. So things like that. Um, some reasons why you would want a NAS. Maganda sana to para sa NAS, since kaya naman niya yung anim na SATA connections for the six hard drives, and yun nga, mas mura, kasi 30, 370 na lang siya. Problema, sira din siya. We updated the BIOS actually, but then it wouldn't accept the... Again, it wouldn't accept the CPU. Or was it the USB? So there was something going on here that even after we updated the BIOS, it just wouldn't work. So this guy's also going back to the supplier. Also on reserve for a customer is the Be Quiet System Power 9, the PSU. But more importantly, and this is already paid for, the Gigabyte 3070. This is not the Vision one. Um, this is the gaming OC version. The Visions we have gotten in stock before, but they sell out super quickly. Um, just like a lot of the 3000 series cards that we have. This is also for another customer, and this has been months in the making. I think July pa. Um, so he got two sets of 2x8, so that becomes 4x8. Uh, he, he wants the... he's going for the all-white look, so 4x8 of RAM, Vengeance Pro. And this guy, if you've been following our Facebook, I posted about this before. This was a custom order. We finally got it in stock, the 360 RAD of the ROG. And again, white edition because it's a white build. And to top every round out everything, the triple pack LL120s for extra case fans. And then the Fantex sleeved extension cables, so all white. So. Actually, the customer bought the entire rig from us already, and then he had further, you know, he wanted to further personalize it. And so these items have been with us for months, and you know, every time we would get one in, he would pay for it right away. Um, tas yun nga, may, may tiwala lang siya na, ah, yeah, you know, mag no problem, I can trust Hardware Sugar, kahit bayaran ko yan, hindi yan mawawala, naka-reserve talaga yan, hindi nila ibabenta. Sa iba, tapos maghahabol na lang ng stock later on. Tapos when I ask, sabihan na lang nila na, ah, sorry, uh, I forgot or whatever. Um, parang nabenta na. So, actually, most of the other stuff has already been sold. Like, before Christmas, there was a mad, mad rush of people <laughs> asking us to build computers and buying computer parts and things like that. So we were popping out rigs like crazy. It's actually quite a, quite a tiring time. We do, of course, also use the back face for storage, and here are some cases. We have a bunch of MB311 ARGBs, very similar to the MB511 ARGB, except these guys are M80X, and the MB511 is a uh, standard mid-tower size. Also very popular still, the H500 ARGB. Uh, people are surprised that this is actually quite a massive case, so this is a full ATX case. Meshify S2 in a white, and... Also in the back, but we do have some in front, are these guys. 
Uh, I've talked about before how much I really like the look of these core P3, you know, the snow and the black versions. It's this open frame design, which is very unique looking. So we were about to run out of these guys, but we do have, we were able to get restocked right before Christmas. So they're cluttering around the shop. So they're over here. Other cases, I uh, recently just restocked the Fantex Eclipse P360X. There are a lot of other cases that I'd like to stock from Fantex, like the P300A. Um, that's sold out. Some ITX cases, like the N2 Evolve Shift Air, that has not even reached us yet, even though it was launched. Um, when was it? When did it launch? March 2020 or something like that? It's a long time ago. It's still S2 na Black. Uh, more 510 Elites. Meshify C, always a popular choice. So it's basically a smaller version of the S2. Uh, this one's in white. We still do have some of those helicopter looking AHT 600s of Thermal Take. Uh, you can see them in the back. Um, bunch of PSUs. For those who need their RGB fix, we do have the EXF RGB series of Corsair. Um, so we have them in black and we have them in white. Some AIOs aside from the NTXT Kraken, so may Core Liquid 240R, tapos may Inwin. Uh, actually, I wish somebody would. I wish somebody would use these in a build so that we can actually build with them and see if you know kung kamusta ba sila. Um, we do have the 240mm version of the ROG Strix. You saw the 360 version inside reserved for a customer, and. Yeah, we do have a bunch of other stuff. But again, I do need to do inventory. This is a build that... This is a build that we did and the customer, you know, will pick up the parts after Christmas. Big Navi, RJ Khan. Uh, we're still waiting. We do not have any idea <laughs> when we are getting the... AMD 6000 series cards, like, no, no idea at all. <laughs> really, really weird. Ah, you know, like, I can chat and it gets sent to YouTube, but then nothing else is getting sent to YouTube. It says, waiting for hardware sugar, December 26th. Super weird. And we have to fix that. Na naman. That is the thing with computers. Work, they're working fine one moment and then the next. Wala na. <laughs> Tapos na papaisip ka tuloy ano ba nagbago na, you know, what could have caused the change. Other cases we have, this is more like, you know, kung not really a gamer, it's more like you just want an, a good, okay looking case with good uh, thermals, the PS15. Thermal take, H200TG. Uh, the Macube, the Macube is also quite popular. We have it here, the Macube 310T White. And, now we still, oh, uh, actually, I was quite happy that one, we were able to do a build in the A1 Plus right before Christmas. The Christmas break hit, so we got that. We got that out. Um, the ROG gifts came in a nice box, like you know, like a custom wooden box, and the logo is very distinctive. We do have a couple of things for streaming, like these key light airs. Although these are only two, I know we had three. Apenta ba yung isa? Just like super surprised now. Nasa na yung isa, na benta. Um, ah, and where are CF120 Plus? Damn, I gotta really, I gotta, <laughs> we gotta, I gotta sit down really and take a look at the stock, what, what's left <laughs> in the shop. I thought we still had CF120 Pluses, but we seem to be sold out. So, the sickle flow. We we do try to stock a variety of RGB fans and you know love them or hate them. A lot of people look for RGB. Um, these are actually quite well. The deep cool ones are always very 
value for money. You, we usually have a lot of CF120 pluses, but I think they might be sold out now. I don't see them. Um, the Sickle Flow is the co Cooler Master version of that, and it comes in black, and we also have them in white. So this is a much more value-friendly proposition than yung, like Corsair, sobrang mahal ng Corsair. So, if you're not really picky, you know, a lot of people, there, there are a lot of fanboys na, oh, kailangan Corsair lahat, and we have no problem with that. We try to accommodate as much as possible. Um, and we do have a bunch of LL120 fans here, single pack. Are we all out of the triple pack? Parang we're also out of the triple pack. Okay, we have the lighting nodes. These are also good value for money. The Jupiter, the Inwin Jupiter 120s, AJ 120. So this is also a triple pack. These are also ARGB, 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 RGB. If you want to know the difference, we do have a YouTube video about that. Um, a 200 mm radiator or 200 mm fan, and you'd be surprised. I mean, some people this actually goes into the H500. Um, not a standard size. Usually the standard size is 120 and 140. But you know, depending on your case, you might need a 200 millimeter fan. And we do have one from Cooler Master. Ah, one cool thing we did for the test bench, which unfortunately I can't show, is that this guy is finally on the thermal pad from Thermal Grizzly. I think it's the Carbonaut. Is it the Carbonaut? So basically, it's just like, wala nang, wala nang thermal grease or wala nang thermal paste. Um, it's like this thin pad, and that's the one that conducts the heat from the CPU to the cooler. So you don't need to put thermal paste anymore. Why that's why did we do that for the test bench? Is because we're always taking out the CPU of this guy. Um, para mag-update ng BIOS, dun sa customer, para mag-try out ng ibang CPU. So we know that this thing is working. So isasalpak namin yung CPU dito to see if that one is working. And so every time you have to remove the CPU, additional na naman yan na maglalagay ka ng thermal paste. With the thermal pad, it you know you can keep reusing that forever basically or for a very very long time. You don't need to replace it. Kaya uh, it's a it you know it cuts down on time. It's much neater. Tanggalan ng tanggalan lang yung CPU, uh, put the pad, put the new CPU, and then you're good to go. And then vice versa. When you remove it, no residue. Just take the pad. Actually, just leave the pad and then just swap out CPUs as needed. Uh, what else? Do we have the Lian Li O11 dynamic? We do not. Uh, it was. Well, we we do have it, but it we used to have it, but it sold out now. We do want to restock, pero di pa sure kung kailan dadating yung bagong restock. Ah, yes. Mikey from Facebook asks, Kamos, paano yung Cooler Master NR200? A lot of people have been asking about that case, and I've also been bugging our supplier. Nasan ba yung NR200? Nasan ba yung NR200? Bibili ako. Short answer, yes, we do want to stock the NR200. Long answer, they... Wala pa, wala pa rin. Um, we are still waiting for it. We're still waiting for our supplier to get it. Because, uh, yun nga, sobrang in-demand ng NR200. Uh, I don't know what's taking them so long, pero baka low priority. I've noticed before that for some parts, the Philippines is a low priority market. Kasi volume wise, in you know, mas maraming bumibili in other countries. Um, our market is also very budget oriented. So high end stuff, they're, you know, but ko, why will we send them to the Philippines where it will sell quicker in Europe or in the States or kahit sa Japan, parang ganyan. Um, so, yes, you know, sad to say, we are a low priority market. So, baka na, I do not know why the NR200 is taking so long to get here, pero baka kasi, um, yun nga, na, pinapadala sa iba, kasi sigurado naman si Cooler Master na mabebenta dun. But we are trying to get them because a lot of people have been requesting for them. Actually, I do know some other local shops have them available, pero gray market yun. That's not from the local distributors here, the official distributors. If you want to grow gray market, I mean, that's completely up to you. That's fine. Um, just ask about the warranty, like how that shop deals with that. Because that's your major consideration dun sa warranty. And I mean, you can even order via New Egg, or Amazon, tasi padala dito sa atin. Pero yun nga. 
um, warranty is a big issue. You also don't know about customs if you do that directly. Like, kung bumili ka directly from Amazon or New Egg. At least kung may shop dito that that carries gray market items, um, sila dapat tasagot sa warranty na yon. But you need to ask them. Paminsan sobrang isila ng warranty period. So you'd have to ask them about that. Paolo from Facebook, and it's only Facebook because <laughs> YouTube seems to be down. Is it tough to find suppliers for Arctic brands? I wonder why walang local shops nagsa stock. Um, I I'm not sure who the local distributor is to be honest. Again, that's kind of thing na maraming ng tatanong. Uh, nagre request sa amin na oye may Arctic items ba kayo? And because a lot of people ask about them, I've been trying to find the local supplier, but I haven't been able to. Um, none of our usual suppliers carry them. So, I don't know. Um, Hardware Sugar is only a small shop, so we don't deal... Actually, we do deal with, I think, all of the major suppliers. Pero baka nga may, may ibang suppliers na uh, that we don't have contact yet with, and then, ano, I... <laughs> uh, it's the building guy. And but uh yeah, so we do want to stock Arctic. Also Cryo Rig actually, that's another brand na parang okay na may performance, but I mean but I can't find a local supplier for it. And another question also from Paolo, candy is only obtainable by purchasing through the hardware sugar website. Uh no. However you buy from us, whether directly through our site or through Lazada or Shopee. Or in store, uh, all of those are eligible for candy points. You just need to register the purchases, and that's also done through the candy portal. So, any as long as you buy from us, regardless kung pano, may candy points yun. Best GPU upgrade for the R5 3400G, mm, 1660 Ti, 1650 Super. Um, those are usually the things that we recommend uh, for that. So I've done 50 minutes and thanks for sticking around guys kasi uh, ang lukot naman na wala yung YouTube audience so parang na, nakalahati yung viewers natin but thank you for sticking around and sending your questions para may konting interaction naman ako on this last stream of uh, no this isn't our last stream for 2020 but it's the last in the shop for 2020 um Kwento lang ako bit about the warranty claims. So we've had a lot of people saying na yung problema nila, they'll buy a rig and then, you know, like a week later, biglang ayaw na mag-boot up. And we've had like two or three of that. Uh, and mostly the problems are because of RAM. Um, for some reason, natatanggal yung RAM. Although hindi ko rin maintindihan. <laughs> Malamang may nagkalikot niyan. May, 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 you know, so either it was a customer or somebody else. They, they went inside, they did, you know, they removed the RAM or something and then they didn't put it back in properly. Ganun na, ganun na ganun yung isang experience namin na um, it was a customer, then he came all the way ata from Cavite or something. When he got here, it, the RAM was just loose. And impossible na matatanggal yung RAM kung walang nagkalikot. Because the, you know, once they're firmly, anything now, once they're firmly inside, they have these two clips on each end of the on each end of the RAM slot. So, hindi lang basta-basta natatanggal yung uh, my fingers in the way. So, there's the clip and then there's another clip here. So, hindi lang basta-basta natatanggal yung RAM clips na yan. Um, so, we had two or three people come up with that problem. We just needed to insert the RAM properly and then it was good to go. Another one, there was a CMOS issue and that's one of the things parang go-to move yun ng mga nag-hard nag uh, nag- uh, uh, yun yung mga go-to moves sa mga nag-detect support. If it's not working, uh, try a CMOS update or reset the CMOS battery. Um, to be honest, actually, this never works for me. It's always another problem. But there are some techs who swear by na kapag may problema, subukan mo kagad na ano, i, ano, i, up, i palitan yung CMOS battery or just, just update or just reset the CMOS. Um, Actually, I don't like doing it because it's depends on Momo. Parang it's hard to get to the CMOS battery. But there's a lot of um, marami nagsasabi na if there's something weird going on with your PC, uh, try the CMOS. 
Fortunately, I can't try the CMOS dun sa YouTube because wala akong access dun sa server nila. But people just people are saying na nagano naman uh, waiting for hardware sugar. There is a video, but there is a video, but YouTube doesn't seem to be getting the data. Um, I'm gonna try. Uh, Marvin um, from Facebook, and he is our one of our tech experts that pwede magtanong ask no YouTube. I don't know, Marvin, for some reason, ayaw mag-stream sa YouTube. Uh, I went into the settings to restream, pero I tried restarting it. I went into the settings. I set it to the backup YouTube server. Ayaw talaga. But the other YouTube guys are saying parang nagwa-buffer lang siya sa YouTube. Hindi nila nakikita yung video. So, I don't know. It's one of those things. Malamang, I'll just uh, download it from Facebook and then upload it to YouTube. Um, sana may matanungan ako, di ba? Sana. I wish I could ask somebody. Pwede magtanong. And, you know, why is my stream not uploading properly to YouTube? Um, so, that's another... Yun. So, those were some of the warranty issues. Uh, it's weird. Like, in the span of two weeks, ang daming... Bumalik na customer na, uy, walang signal na lumalabas when I turn on my computer. Like, there's no output to the display. But, when we check it, it's just, you know, yun nga, na, na loose. For some reason, the, the RAM is just not properly plugged in. And once we plugged in the RAM, everything was good to go. We did have one where it was the power supply. The power supply was defective. So, we, um, we replaced the power supply and everything was working again. Hmm... What other RAM, what other warranty issues did we have for the end of the year? I think that's, those are the ones that come to mind. And, ayun. So, we, again, we do have a bunch of new stock, which I will upload by tonight. I'll be uploading them tonight. So, by tomorrow morning, the site should have everything that we have. Again, just like how it usually does. Super easy to order. Lahat yun na integrate na yun sa website. Mark Lewis, ask pa shout out. Pa shout out, Mark Lewis. Thanks for watching. Uh, thanks for joining us on this December 26th. Um, sorry. One last about the uh, the sickle flows. The nice thing about the sickle flows is that they also come with their own splitter. So you don't need to worry about anymore like pan yung power supply nun lang tatlo. Uh, and we also have from Cooler Master an 1 to 3 ARGB splitter. Sorry, this is a better view. So, we've talked about before na medyo nakakalito talaga yung RGB. Like, where do you plug it in? How do you power it? Because those, those two things are separate. How do you control it? Where do you plug it in to control? Versus yung... Uh, how do you power the actual fans, you know, the, the spinning things that, that move air? So we, have, we always have to think about it a lot, but like the sickle flow comes with everything that you need. And if... The, this one, the nice thing about this one is that you can plug in a lot of fans and then it, this one will go straight to the ARGB header on the motherboard. So... In a way, they're daisy chained, but um, they're daisy chained through this one cable rather than having to figure out how to. Some fans don't allow daisy chaining, like fan to fan to fan. This one, you can just take all three fans here and then it goes straight. The top part here goes straight to whichever MOBO you have. Um, so that's about it for the show. Uh, so we do have a bunch of new stock. Again, EIOs. Again, thank you, Asrock. Thank you, Asrock. Thank you, ROG. Thank you, Asus, for the MOBOs. <laughs> thank you, NDXT, for the fans. Asus, for the monitor. Uh, we, I do have other stuff from Asus that I am um, uh, playing around with at home. So that's a monitor, the TUF 3080, and the Wi-Fi routers. So excited to try those out, get home and try those out. I don't know what game to play with the 3080. Um, Cyberpunk would be the obvious choice, pero I ko, inisi ko pa kung Red Dead Redemption 2 or um, some other thing. Maybe Doom, Doom Eternal. Uh, I, I don't know how. Parang the id guys optimized their code so well na parang kayang kaya nung 
kayang-kaya nung graphics cards, kahit maganda yung graphics. So, I might end up buying Cyberpunk. But there are so many sales now. Like, there's so many games I want to try na naka-sale na hindi naman sila AAA. But, like, there's a game on the Switch that I want to try. So, Crisis, yeah, Hans would be the... Well, parang, di ba, Cyberpunk is the new Crisis now. <laughs> so, will it run Crisis? Will it run Cyberpunk? So, I don't know. I don't know. I need I need a game that will stress out the 3080. Uh, and I'm still thinking about it. Paolo asks, kamusta yung shop after the earthquakes? Wala, solid. Walang problema. You'll notice all of the... Our custom-made shelves, they are all still firmly bolted in there. Uh, when I came in today, no discernible items tipped over, no damage to anything. Um, this shelf, which I bought from... Uh, true value, kasi discounted, di naman natumba. So, even these SSDs actually, which look a little precarious, <laughs> um, di naman natumba. So, all good. That was a strong earthquake. I think, was that on the 24th? The morning of the 24th? Um, but yeah, that was a really strong earthquake, pero wala namang damage sa shop. Thank goodness. Again, because I am very absent minded lately, I forgot my tripod. I'm using triple H510 Elites as my tripod and then my main camera. Up there. Um, so I'm gonna sign off now, guys. I'm gonna do some inventory here at the shop, then I'm gonna go home and monkey around with the ASO stuff 3080. Pero yun nga. Uh, yes. Actually, because uh, Hans mentioned it on Facebook, I want to. Uh, I I want to do a video where. It's my it's the RTX 3080 but in my super old computer. So parang 2013 CPU plus 2020 GPU, okay ba yon? Like can you get away with just upgrading the GPU? Um then I'm going to look on YouTube like they do have settings na oh, ito yung optimal settings for RTX 3080. Then I want to see like I'm, I'll try to copy those settings. Pero syempre mahina CPU ko compared to the CPU that they used. So at least may basis of comparison um, my old rig with a 3080 versus yung state of the art rigs na ginamit ng mga YouTubers na yon. Um, so we'll compare frame rates and things like that. So, we do have other shows this December before we close out the year. Um, we have In the Industry where we interview the guys from Ready Player One, which is a local hardware manufacturer of chairs, so gaming chairs. And actually, they do that. Um, their chairs look very premium, so we'll be interviewing them on December 30. Um, and then last, the last show of the year, it will be me again, and we're calling it uh, Media Diet. Uh, basically, I'm just going to talk about like all of the stuff I read, watched, and played this 2020. So parang personal review ko lang, like, shit, gada libro na to, I was blown away. Um, for those of you, all 17 of you who are watching on Facebook, if you don't know, I... I'm a super big reader. My course in college was uh, literature, so I super enjoy reading. Um, and so I'm going to talk about like, wow, this book blew me away, or this book was disappointing. Uh, the, the movies that I watched, the games that I played. Um, so we, that might be a, that might be a regular show uh, next year. Like once a month, I'll just talk about like, damn, this game blew me away. And it was only like 500 pesos, parang ganyan. Um, as I get older, kapag tumatanda na ako, parang napapansin ko, di ka naman talaga hinahanap yung triple A talaga. Parang mas hanap ko yung story. Although, as a gamer, I've always been... Uh, as a gamer, I've always also been big on story, on the narrative. Um, so, uh, maybe that hasn't really changed, but games are so good now that, you know, you don't need a triple A graphics to tell a compelling story. So... I want to highlight more of those kind of games uh, in 2021. So, but we'll start out with Media Diet um, this year, maybe December 31 or December 29, and then we'll go from there. We'll adjust as we go along. So, ayon. Thanks for joining me. Um, this was a Facebook exclusive live stream, <laughs> but it will get uploaded to YouTube later. And ayon. Uh, Actually, I just want to say. Well, no need to get all senti since may live stream pa naman ako nga, yung, yung nga, yung media, media diet. Um, but this is the last from the shop for 2020. Looking for, and actually, this daming, daming nangyari nung, I mean, you don't, I don't need to tell you ano nangyari nung 2020, but 
just very consequential also for the shop na um because so many people needed to work from home and daming bumili ng computer and daming nag reach out this was the year also na sobrang sumikat yung YouTube YouTube channel from 1000 subscribers in March or April uh, we're closing out the year with 43,000 subs so that's crazy ha, but none of them are watching now because YouTube for some reason is effing up so uh and because of that added exposure on YouTube, we've also gotten lots and lots of new customers. So it's been a big year for the shop. Um a bit tiring to be honest. Like I just wanna go home and play. <laughs> but there's always like things to do. Um inventory, um replying to customers on Facebook and YouTube videos to do and things like that. And there's always so much stuff to do. But it's the these four days, December twenty fourth to twenty seven have been really nice. Um, you know, much needed rest for everybody, not just for myself, but all of our staff here at the shop. So I hope you guys had a very Merry Christmas. I hope you're enjoying the holidays. Stay safe. Please tune in for our last two shows in the industry, December 30, and Media Diet, maybe December 29. Peace, guys.